Did you know that you could destroy your super sophisticated hearing aids simply by getting them wet? Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And if you found this video, it's either because your hearing aids got wet and you're looking for a way to dry them out, or you've been able to keep your hearing aids dry for now and you're just preparing for the eventual day that your hearing aids get soaked. Either way, I'm glad you're here because moisture is one of the biggest threats to your hearing aids. But no worries, because in this video, I'm going to be telling you three ways to dry out those wet hearing aids. Coming up. You know that feeling in your gut when you realized, ugh, I just messed up. You know, the one that's typically followed up by some slight panic and the immediate jump to how can I fix this? If you wear hearing aids, you may have already experienced these feelings by jumping into a pool or a shower only to realize seconds or minutes later, oh no, I still have my hearing aids on. The circuits within hearing aids are sensitive to moisture like water and sweat. In fact, a full microliter of moisture in a hearing aid is the equivalent of three bathtubs worth of water in a standard size home. And you can probably imagine that can cause major issues. 10 microliters of moisture can cause complete and total device failure, though I've seen it happen well before then. Understandably and annoyingly, moisture buildup in hearing aids can cause them to have reduced performance, require repeat repairs, or even force you to upgrade technology before they've even reached their anticipated lifespan. For this reason, hearing healthcare providers have always recommended that you store your hearing aids in somewhere other than the bathroom because of the higher levels of humidity. They also tend to recommend using sweatbands or slip covers during exercise to help wick away sweat and to remove the hearing aids whenever you're swimming or showering. But even if you're careful, things happen. Perhaps you live in an area with naturally high humidity, you get caught in a downpour or break a sweat on a hot day. Or maybe you just experienced one of the hearing aid rites of passage by stepping into the shower with your hearing aids on. Hearing aids have to move through our day-to-day -day lives with us. But as vulnerable electronics, they don't necessarily love all of the environments and conditions that they're exposed to. Engineers and researchers behind the scenes know this, and they continue to develop and improve water-resistant strategies. This is in an attempt to reduce repairs and improve reliability so that your hearing aids can stay in your ears. Which is why today I'll be telling you three ways to dry out your wet hearing aids and how Starkey, today's video sponsor, may have just solved this problem entirely. But more on them coming up. Now, before we begin, if you could please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps bring videos like these to a wider audience. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and take a second to hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Now, the first way to keep moisture out of your hearing aids is by using an at-home drying system. Some hearing aid dryers are passive, simply using silica beads to remove moisture from your hearing aids when they're not in your ears. These come in jars for battery-operated aids, and in small desiccant packs that you can slip into your charger for rechargeable hearing aids. Active hearing aid dryers are often electronic and use silica beads in combination with a warmer temperature and circulating air to remove as much moisture from your hearing aids as possible. Both of these systems are a great way to draw moisture out of your hearing aids that can come from humidity and sweat. I definitely recommend them for all hearing aid users since they're relatively cheap and easy to use. However, in the instance that your hearing aids got really wet, these systems are unlikely to cut it. This brings me to the second way that you can dry out your wet hearing aids, which is by locating a professional grade dehydration system. Professional grade dehydrators use alternating heat and vacuum cycles in order to pull out every last drop of moisture from your devices. We have one in our office and we use it all the time for many of our patients on a routine basis to keep hearing aids as dry as possible. And it has been known to resurrect a hearing aid that took a trip in the washing machine or took a brief bubble bath. However, both industrial units and new professional grade at home units can be costly which can make it difficult to locate an office that actually has this equipment. Additionally, a professional grade dehydration system can only remove moisture from hearing aids after the fact, but it can't stop the damage that the moisture has already done once it's worked its way inside. But instead of trying to draw all of this moisture out of your hearing aids, what if your hearing aids blocked all that sweat and moisture before it could even get in? 
That's why the third and perhaps the best way to keep your hearing aids dry is to prevent the problem from happening in the first place by getting waterproof hearing aids, like the new Genesis AI hearing aids from Starkey, today's video sponsor. Now Starkey, the only US-based hearing aid manufacturer out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota, is already known for their incredible hearing aid innovations, including both custom hearing aids and receiver and canal options, with innovative features like fall detection, edge mode plus, and physical activity tracking. But with their newest lineup, the Genesis AI, Starkey not only updated the design and increased the battery life to nearly double that of other brands, but they also happened to make perhaps the most waterproof hearing aid that I've ever seen. Now, all electronics have varying degrees of resistance against moisture and debris. After rigorous reliability testing, these devices are given an IP or ingress protection rating. The first number of an IP rating gives you an idea of its resistance to debris, like dirt and dust, from zero, which is very poor, to the highest rating of six. Similarly, the second number in an IP rating tells you how resistant the device is to moisture, again, from the lowest score of zero up to the highest score of eight. These days, a ton of hearing aids boast IP68 ratings. This typically means that the device will continue to work even when exposed to day-to-day -day wear, like a splash of water, some rain, some humidity, wind-blown dust, so on and so forth. But IP ratings are actually based on how the device performs directly after being removed from tap water. But this doesn't really speak to the device's ability to block out moisture over time or to withstand salt water, like from sweat. This means that even hearing aids with the highest IP rating can still fall victim to moisture accumulation, especially over time, if there are not robust protection systems in place. But the new Genesis AI rechargeable hearing aids take absolutely no chances when it comes to moisture. This is thanks to their redesigned casing and their Pro 8 HydraShield system. With the new receiver and canal hearing aids came a nice upgrade to the body style, but this wasn't just for looks. The complete redesign includes an entirely encapsulated lithium ion battery, silicone seals for the charging contacts, and even an extra compression seal at the connection between the hearing aid and the receiver wire, which believe it or not, happens to be one of the dirtiest places that I actually encounter when deep cleaning hearing aids in the office. So this was definitely a big win. They also achieved waterproof status by using their new proprietary Pro 8 HydraShield nano coating. Now, nano coating is a specially engineered film designed to protect circuit boards and electronic components from harm like moisture, but also thermal shock, static, vibration, and contamination. Nano coating definitely isn't new in the hearing aid space, but not all nano coating is the same. And the improved application and quality control process that is completed on each rechargeable Genesis AI hearing aid is clearly just in a league of its own. It only takes a second of looking at these two hearing aids exposed to the same brutal conditions to figure out which one had the Pro 8 HydraShield coating applied and which one, unfortunately, did not. But how do we know that these changes really made a significant impact to take them above and beyond the IP68 rating? Well, in Starkey's own words, they decided to create several hearing aid torture chambers to see just how well the rechargeable Genesis AI hearing aids could really hold up. Now, due to inherent differences in design, the custom rechargeable hearing aids and the receiver and canal rechargeable hearing aids underwent slightly different testing and do have some mild differences in their waterproof design elements. However, they both far exceed what is expected out of an IP68 rated device, and this was demonstrated through six unique reliability tests. The first was their high humidity test, where they stranded hearing aids in a 95 degree container with 95% humidity for 21 days straight. And I know that sounds extreme, but many people across the United States and the globe, like one of my patients who lives in Guam, live in areas with similar conditions. After this, they all underwent diagnostic testing to ensure that they were still meeting manufacturer specifications, and they all passed with flying colors as though the event never happened. In the second test, they not only remained in the high humidity chamber, but engineers proceeded to try and make them fail by placing them on and off the charger nearly 3,650 times each and pushing the buttons nearly 2,000 times over 10 full battery cycles. The result, you guessed it, even with the harsh conditions and all of the handling and manipulation, 
all of the hearing aids passed this evil experiment. They even completed a similar experiment where instead of high humidity, they actually continuously sprayed the hearing aid with a saltwater solution. Reliability testing again demonstrated no reduction in battery life or performance of the hearing aids. But the fun doesn't stop there. They then completed a series of corrosion and stress tests to see if the hearing aids could hold up in even some of the wildest conditions. How about 10 different shower nozzles spraying in all different directions in a 180 degree pattern behind your head? Pass. A one hour soak in a saltwater brine with moisture sensing alarms right near the charging contacts that can detect any sort of moisture trying to creep in? Alarms never went off. Pass. What about one drop of salt water on top of the hearing aid every single second for over 40 hours straight without the nano coating even present to test out the redesigned casing? Say it with me, pass. There is no denying that every effort has been made to make these hearing aids some of, if not the most, waterproof hearing aids on the market. Now, realistically speaking, all hearing aids are subject to some level of damage from their environment. This is because different hearing aid components are exposed to different things, even outside of moisture, like earwax, oil from your skin, and more. But as you can imagine, essentially removing the threat of damage to your hearing aids from water and sweat could keep you in your hearing aids longer and more reliably without you even having to do a thing. Overall, if you're not already, using passive and active hearing aid dryers can help remove the moisture from your devices that builds up over day-to-day -day wear and is a good idea for pretty much all hearing aid users. In more serious or prolonged exposures to moisture, professional grade dehydration can help to remove more liquid from your devices than at-home dryers. But there's no guarantee that the damage isn't already done. But in my opinion, blocking moisture from entering hearing aids in the first place by using rechargeable hearing aids is a way better idea than trying to remove it later. And it gives you peace of mind so that you aren't always worried about your hearing aids getting wet. Now, if your hearing aids seem to have reduced performance, especially after they've been exposed to moisture, be sure to give your hearing healthcare provider a call to see how they can get them fixed and get you back on track. And for more information on Starkey's new advances and testing protocols, as well as to look at some of the white papers, you can check out starkey.com waterproof that will be linked down in the description below.